More than 800 cases nationwide, 300 plus of those fatal. And every day, three more cases are identified. And yet, still, surprisingly few people are familiar with the Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or the acronym by which it's frequently identified, AIDS. Federal health officials consider it an epidemic, yet you rarely hear a thing about it. At first, it seemed to strike only one segment of the population. Now, Barry Peterson tells us this is no longer the case. In the mid-80s, the magnitude of the AIDS crisis really started to hit home. We saw some of our most creative people taken away from us by this terrible disease. And I just became increasingly convinced that I had to do something. But unfortunately at the time, people didn't believe in combination for viruses. We had already combinations, of course, for TB and for cancer. But nobody believed you really need the combination for viral infections. And in fact, some people, famous scientists, came to me when they saw my work and said, great work, but you know, we'll never see any combination chemotherapy in, for antivirals. On the very first shot, uh, we saw something absolutely amazing. The synergy between AZT in those patients and lamivudine or FTC was an enormous breakthrough. It led to the first combination drug, Combivir, and that was the first time looking through CDC's reports in the um, weekly morbidity and mortality reports where there was a downward deflection in the death line. It was absolutely correlatable. Short of my wedding and the birth of my children, this was the most euphoric moment in my entire life, is when I saw the data presented that showed that the majority of people who were started on a three-drug regimen, their viral load fell to undetectable, and their T-cell counts actually came up. So I was on Combivir, which was um, AZT and 3TC, or AZT and Lamivudine, with Crixivan. And, um, I showed a remarkable recovery. I became undetectable and had my T cells above 200. And right now, I don't know, they're in the 600 range and I've been, I've been undetectable ever since. The therapy that came out at that time was literally a lifesaver. I'm 35 years old and I've been living with HIV for all but six weeks of my life. My childhood, I was told that I was gonna die. And then when I didn't, and I did graduate high school, it was kind of this unexpected adulthood. What do I do now? Um, I guess I'll go to college. <laughs> so it was no longer a death sentence. HIV was no longer a death sentence. And that was amazing change because mortality dropped from 72% of people who have HIV to less than 25%. Very rapidly, thanks to heart therapy.